Today, I'm going to be discussing briefly the divorce timeline and how long you should expect your divorce case to take. I'll start by saying there are two different basic types of divorce cases, and the amount of time your case will take depends on the type of divorce case you have. Before I get to the types, no matter which type of divorce case you have, there is an automatic 60-day waiting period on all divorce cases. So even if your case is totally agreed, you'll have to wait 60 days from the time the case is filed before the judge can be presented with your final documents. This 60-day waiting period is often referred to as the cooling off period. So let me first talk about the, the uncontested divorce. And here's generally how the uncontested divorce will go. First, you'll fill out a client information sheet with your attorney's office. Next, you'll provide any necessary documents to your attorney's office. The attorney will then prepare what's called the original petition for divorce. And your attorney will file the petition with the district clerk's office. Next, you would need to give your spouse notice that the case was filed and exchange any necessary financial documents and information with your spouse. Now, this is a this would be an uncontested case. So your your spouse would not get served with a process server necessarily. So your, your spouse will need to respond. And if your spouse agrees to the basic terms of the divorce, then your attorney will prepare what's called the final divorce decree. If your spouse does not agree on an uncontested case to the basic terms, then usually if the parties are amicable, they can discuss and agree and come to some type of a compromise. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a 60 day waiting period during all divorce uh, cases in Texas. But during the 60 day waiting period, this is a good time for the parties to consult, uh, compromise and negotiate the terms of the final decree. Once the parties agree on terms, uh, then the sp your spouse would be provided with some documents to sign. Um, the first document is called the waiver of citation. And this is where your spouse agrees not to be served with a process server. The next document, which is the most important document on a divorce case, is the final divorce decree. And that's an order from the court that stipulates the terms of the divorce, property division, visitation schedule, et cetera. Next comes to uh, finalizing your divorce. Um, now, in an, on an uncontested case, once the 60-day period has elapsed since the filing of the petition, the case is technically ready to be finalized. Then next, both parties would sign off on the final divorce decree. Once the parties sign the divorce decree, the case is ready for a hearing. Next, your attorney would schedule a hearing uh, on what would be called the uncontested docket. And right now, uh, most courts allow submission of the documents to the court electronically without the necessity of even having to appear in person or, or virtually. Some courts do require a virtual hearing, and if required, your attorney will provide the details. However, most hearings, even if they are even if they are in person or virtual, they take less than five minutes. Next, the judge will sign off on the divorce decree, either by electronic submission of the documents or at a virtual or at a virtual hearing. And once the judge signs off on the final decree, the divorce is official and concluded. Uh, at that point, either you or your attorney can request a certified official decree from the district clerk's office. So generally speaking, in my experience, uncontested cases last usually between two to four months. I'm going to go and talk about now the contested case. Contested case is a lot different and it takes a lot longer, especially if there are children involved and custody is being disputed. So first, um, to start the contested case, it starts just like any other case. Uh, you'll fill out an information sheet uh, with your attorney's office, provide the necessary documents to your attorney's office. The attorney will prepare your original petition for divorce, file your petition with the district clerk's office. But this is where things get a little bit different. Again, on a contested case, uh, you will have to give your spouse legal notice of the filing. And you do that with a process server. So a citation and a copy of the petition is delivered by a process server directly to your spouse. Now, sometimes um, that is not possible. Maybe the spouse is missing. Don't know where the spouse is at. There are other methods and procedures that can be used if a spouse just takes off and you don't have an address or a place to serve the spouse at. Uh, but typically, we would serve the spouse with a process server. Now, once the spouse has been served, 
the spouse will most likely in a contested case hire an attorney and file an answer. And an answer just lets the court know that the respondent, the other party is aware of the lawsuit and they are participating in the process. Now, as I mentioned before, there is a 60 day waiting period on all Texas divorce cases. And that's whether the case is contested or uncontested. But on a contested case, it, it actually allows for some time to do some very, very important things. One of those things is discovery. On a contested case, there's going to be a substantial amount of discovery. And discovery is basically when both parties exchange detailed financial information, records, and other divorce relevant materials. The attorneys and clients will, will then review the discovery documents and typically create an asset and debts chart so that the property division proposal can be drafted. Typically at this point in a contested case, the attorneys will float back and forth different proposals to see if the how far apart the parties are and see if there is some type of an agreement that can be reached. Usually there are some remaining issues which the parties are uh, unable to agree upon. Finalizing a contested divorce case is a little bit tricky. Most cases, in my experience, will end up going to mediation. And just depending upon what the issues are, there can be several mediations. But I'm just going to talk generally about uh, how most cases will go through the process. Typically, again, the attorneys will set a case for mediation. The mediator is usually an independent family law attorney who will listen to both sides and then help guide the parties to a possible compromise. Mediations typically last for about four to eight hours. And in, in most instances, most cases, probably 80 to 90 percent, in my experience, the cases are resolved at mediation. Keep in mind that the mediator is not a judge. The mediator can't make any decisions. But once the parties agree to the terms in a mediation, the terms are transferred to a mediated settlement agreement, which is then binding upon the parties. If the parties do not reach an agreement in mediation, then the case will proceed to trial. Um, again, I would I probably say that only about 10, maybe 15 percent of the cases go to trial. Most parties are able to reach an agreement at the mediation. But if the parties, again, do not uh, reach an, any type of agreement, whether through mediation or just informal mediation, then again, the case will go to trial. If your case goes to trial, the trial is typically going to take about three to eight hours, depending upon the witnesses and evidence being produced. However, your case will be decided on the trial date and concluded on that day. And at that point, after the trial is over, the judge will sign the final divorce decree. And on that day, the divorce is official. And then at that point, either you or your attorney can request a certified official divorce decree from the district clerk's office. So generally speaking, in my experience, um, it's actually difficult to determine how long a, a contested divorce case will take. A lot depends on the issues involved, how amicable the parties are willing to be, uh, et cetera. But on average, I would say they take around six months, but they can last for years in some instances, especially when child custody is involved. 